I was in the capital last night for a press screening of The Hobbit. Now, I had to sign all sorts of forms forbidding me to saying anything about the film. But I will say this, it is really, really good. Today I had the whirlwind tour of Weta Workshop for the, what they call the Hobbit Experience. And when I say whirlwind, we were whipped through the various experiences, except, of course, for the interview with Sir Richard Taylor. Now, when you're the boss, no one is going to hurry you. We're at the premiere tomorrow, but tonight, a taste of what went into it. OK, The Hobbit, it's out three hours long, but we're going to give you the super-fast tour of everything that went into making it. And the most important thing, of course, is the feet. Yes. All right, well, this is them. These, we're, going to, we're going to let you have a little bit of a play with these today, Mark. It's <laughs> seriously freaky, isn't it? They are. The ones that Martin wears as yeah. um, Bilbo are a lot longer. Yeah. They actually go right up past his knee. Super. So, um, so we don't have any, you can't see any joy lines or anything. I um, shaved mine before coming in. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I am a Baggins. Wait! Of Baggins. So these are arguably the most important prop in the whole movie. Yeah? Uh, I mean, the feet yeah, are what yeah, defines the whole. Yeah, they're pretty important. <laughs> they don't work for in trouble. And how many feet have been on those today? Oh, I'm not allowed to disclose <laughs> that kind of information. <laughs> ah. And what I'll do yeah. is, if it's all right, I'll just try and find your big toe. Yeah. Push that over onto there. Right. Oh, so you can sort of move it. Yeah, you do get a little bit of movement. Did you ever think you'd be spending your life in feet? No, I actually didn't. <laughs> Um, the feet are actually um, sculpted, yeah. um, but they, they're obviously they're based on a real foot. They are seriously bad, aren't they? Yeah, they're big feet. And you can... Yeah. You wouldn't normally get the, the wobble in the toe with the yeah. toe extension. It's Much like sort of surfing... Uh... Yeah, it's like wearing a pair of booties. Yeah. 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 How many of these would you have to make for the movie? Would um, one set do? We've made a couple of hundred for Martin. I'm going on an adventure! Hey, thanks very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Home is now behind you. The world is ahead. The people here involved in the movie, are they invested in the characters or are they making the hardware? Uh, I think we're invested in the characters. Uh, one of our, uh, someone that worked here many years ago said it's about hardware, not hardware. It has to be about that. Uh, equipment at the end of the day is just tools and it's about how you wield those tools and uh, it, it, that de that's dependent on the passion, enthusiasm and tenacity of the people that use it. And of course it's weapons, weapons, weapons is what makes these movies amazing and these are the guys responsible. Yep. You make the glory stuff, is that yep. right? Yeah. Mark? Peter? Peter? And you, you're the mass production yep, side of it? That, Alex. Mm -hmm. How many did you make? We did a count up and we did 547 of just the travelling weapons. Those are just the weapons that they used, that the dwarves carried in the film. So we think that probably by the end of the third film we will have made more weapons than rings. Which one suits me better? The big one. <laughs> so it looks smaller. We've done a lot of 3D modelling with this. Due to time constraints, we just didn't have a chance to... Oh, that's... Yeah, yeah that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a fighting sword. Have you ever made a mistake? Oh, plenty. <laughs> I've made plenty of mistakes. <laughs> what um, was the worst one? Oh, I don't know if Richard might be <laughs> divulging that. He may not know, but um, it's, it's invariably that you make, make a cock up from time to time. But Go just, back and fix it up. You just don't make the same one twice. <laughs> the power of computers and what you can do using that technology. Does that take some of the artistry away? The people operating the computers are still artists in their own right. They have to be possessing of incredible artistic skill. The challenge, of course, for the likes of ourselves is that it starts to take some of the craft away, some of the hand skill, uh, physical building. But our hope, of course, is that there'll always be directors that are inspired to use an equal balance of both. Have there any more of you little fellas hiding where you shouldn't? Now, you can't have a Hobbit movie without, of course, trolls. And this guy over here, are you the troll king? <laughs> I'm one of the troll kings. Hi, Mark. I'm Gino. Nice to meet you, nice Gino. Nice If I can see your hand, Daniel here is going to mix up a special silicone goop that we're going to put onto your hand, slather it on here. We'll get back into this a little bit more with detail about yeah. what this is all about. So we basically put all the skin coloration and all the wrinkles and everything onto the skin. So this is basically the skin that we were just looking at. Yeah. And we are able to just paint that directly onto the surface, like so. Now what this will look like when it's finished is something a lot like this. Wow. This, this full set of texture was built with silicone scans. From there, we uh, get our final look. This is what we see in the film. 
Let's have a look at your hand. How's that looking? Yeah. There you go. Pretty good. Hey, you got a nice lifeline. I got a guarantee on the lifeline, have I? If you do, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> you get a real buzz out of this? I would love it. It's just like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a big kid. And, uh, you know, I've been making monsters all my life. 